Hey folks, how's it going? It's Mr. Murray, and I'm coming to you with a brief video on how to use the Solving Linear Systems practice tool. Um, keep in mind that, um, you know, as things progress, you know, it's possible that bugs will come up or improvements will need to be made. So just keep in mind that, um, you know, the site as you see it might look slightly different than you're going to see in this video, but this video is going to give you the basics of what you need to know. And if there's drastic changes, my hope is that I will put out a new tutorial video. All right, so before using it, as it says here, it is very important that you have cookies enabled for the site to work correctly. It's also important, folks, for you to have a little bit of patience because um, the answers that you are going to be putting in need to be checked live. They're not coded into the page. Okay, and so because there is some mathematics that needs to be done on the server's end, you know, there might be if you have Wi Fi issues or if a lot of people are doing it at once, right? You're going to have to be patient. Just please be patient. Okay. All right. So, that being said, let's go ahead and get started. Um, as you can see here, you're going to need to solve a system of equations. Um, the system can be easy. And you can hover over to see what each of them mean, right? We have medium problems, all right? So substitution is possible, but it's a little bit more challenging to execute and hard, right? This is um, this is going to be very difficult to do substitution, or you're going to have to really do a few steps, um, or you're really going to have to think through it if you want to do uh, elimination. The harder problem you choose the more points you can earn. See how you'll see it says points earned and guesses remaining. For each system, you have three chances to get the correct answer, okay? This page will tell you if one or the other is correct. So you'll get the most points by uh, getting the correct answer on the first try, okay? After three guesses, um, it will reveal the answer and then uh, it'll, after a brief period of time, it will go to a new problem. Okay, so here we go. Here's an example. 2G minus 4R equals negative 30. 2G plus 4R equals 40. So what I'm going to do, because I know Mr. Murray is going to want to see my work, I'm going to write this down on separate paper. 2G minus 4R equals negative 30. 2G plus 3R equals 40. Okay. And now I'm going to solve it on my paper. So what I would do is. So G equals five. OK, just going to hold up my work if you want to see it. So I'm going to solve the system. OK, just using elimination, showing all my work. OK, so I've got G equals five and R equals 10. So I'm going to very carefully note G. See the box that says G five, the box that says R, 10. You'll see it will automatically refresh. You can see the answer that I'm plotting. Um, and then to check the answer, you either hit check answer or you can press the enter button. You can see we got this correct. Okay, I've earned five points. You can see it says I've got one problem done because I did that one problem. And now I've got a new problem. Okay, so the other thing that can happen is, again, maybe you make a mistake. So I'm going to now do this one. Is n equals 7. So I'm just going to show my work. OK, so again, what I'm going to do, I do that substitution by adding n on both sides. So I make my substitution. I distribute. Negative times a negative is a positive. I solve for n, right? Subtracting five, negative 37 minus five, and then I divide both sides by negative six. Now, let's say I'd made a mistake. Let's say that I accidentally add one. So instead of doing seven minus one, I do seven plus one, and I get p equals eight. It's going to indicate that one of the numbers is correct and the other number is not. 
So the seven is right and the eight is wrong. So let me go check my work up. Oh, it looks like I added rather than subtracted. So P should actually equal six. Okay, double check my work, looks good. And you can see that even though I got slightly less points because I got it right on the second try, all right, it got me to go back and check my work. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna continue like this. You're gonna continue to solve the problems until you get to a point where um, a make report button is going to show up, okay? What that threshold is, I will communicate to you in class. So let's say I'm gonna go ahead and do another problem. So here I'm just gonna... R equals nine and T equals one. Perfect, all right, so I've got 12 problems done, 12 points earned, three problems done. Now, as you see at some point, a make report button, and I'm gonna, again, tell you a threshold. It could be based on the number of points, it could be based on the number of problems, it could be based on both. You need to look out for specific directions so that you're gonna know what you need to do, okay? So when it's ready, you're gonna hit make report, and what that's going to do is that's going to create a report of the work that you have done. So see, it says completed work summary. Okay. And it shows you the system that systems that you solved, the number of guesses that it took you. Okay. And it also shows you that the solution that you entered and whether that is the actual solution. So you can see that it double checked and all of the solutions you entered are verified correct, okay? What you're gonna do with this, it may download to your computer automatically. If it doesn't, you're just gonna hit the download button, okay? And then you'll upload it as directed in the directions, okay? Please make sure you upload it. Do not take a picture of it because I'm gonna scan the QR code. And by scanning the QR code, it's gonna provide an extra layer of verification so that I know it's your work. It's originality, okay? So please be on the lookout for directions um, specific to how I want you to use this tool. Hopefully this helped you get started. All right, if you have any questions, feel free to be uh, in touch at any time. Always happy to help out. Thanks so much for watching. Have a wonderful day and don't forget to love math.